Yeah, guys, if residents vote yes on the ballot issues that will fund a new jail, then there's going to be an increase on the sales tax throughout the entire Madison County. There are two proposals on the ballot to build and operate a new county jail. If both proposals pass, the sales tax will increase by 1.75% in Madison County. That means that the overall sales tax will go from 8.5% to 10.25% in most of the county. That means for every $100 you spend in Madison County, you will pay $10.25 in sales tax for a total of $110.25. It's going to be a 1.75% increase, you know, on top of the 2% that the county is already collecting just for the jail services. I mean, that's almost 100% increase in the county tax. In Huntsville and St. Paul, the sales tax is already at 10.5%. So the sales tax in those cities would be even higher. Once we got down to uh, the actual numbers of how much it was gonna cost to run that jail, it's gonna cost the people in the community too much money to operate a jail of that size, in my opinion. Each proposal is different. According to one justice of the peace, the first ballot proposal is for an additional 1.25% sales tax and covers the maintenance and operations of the jail. The other Madison County ballot proposal is a 0.5% increase and covers the building of the jail. The jail will be built along Highway 412. I just felt like it got too big of a cost for the people. That's, so that's why I voted against it. T.W. Dotson was the only justice of the peace to vote against putting the special election taxes on the ballot, but still believes the county needs a jail. After talking to the constituents in my area, I did not feel comfortable supporting the 1.75%, so I voted against it. Uh, I am still for the jail. If you do live in Madison County and want to find out a little more about the potential jail, there's going to be five public scheduled meetings throughout the next couple of weeks throughout the county where you could ask questions and learn a little bit more about those potential tax increases. The first one just started here at the Hinesville Fire Department at 6 o'clock. We're going to continue to keep you updated on that throughout the night. Reporting live in Madison County, Jacob Murphy, 4029 News.